Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. We have got a very special sponsored video. This video has been sponsored by Catapult and the developers behind the game we're playing, which is Eterna Noctus, which I think I'm saying that right. It is a Metroidvania style game. If you're not familiar with the genre, Metroid, that's the game that a lot of this is kind of like modeled on the genre that is, which is a subgenre of action adventure video games focused on guided non-linearity and utility gated exploration and progression. That's kind of it, meshing together Metroid and Castlevania. That's what that is, if you're not familiar. This particular game is this really kind of cool, uh, I don't know, anime style setting to it in a dark fantasy type way that you are going and fighting um, what seems to be like a good versus evil and evil is kind of coming back to earth to fight. There's a lot of life after death type narratives to it and it's definitely an amazing game based on visuals and the spectacle that uh, this game has. So let's kind of without further ado just kind of get playing the game. Okay let's go here we are. So this is in game. It's a hand drawn game as well something to point out and it's an incredibly top rated game this game came out in december of last year and is very very popular and very very highly rated so we need to kind of like make sure that I'm, i need to live especially as i go through these early stages and follow the story because there's a an amazing story that follows suit on here the spirits of those defeated in battle dwell in this cursed land their wandering souls roam these plains forever lamenting their lack of skill in the battlefield well that's deep that is very deep uh, I also see, like, in the background, there's, uh, oh, okay, I did well there. There's a, a big kind of, like, hulking, like a behemoth of a, of a character behind it. Like, uh, I, I wouldn't say it's like, um, uh, Attack on Titan. It's definitely not that. But definitely from a, a sense of, like, okay, well, what do these beasts kind of, like, are these the wandering souls of the defeated? And... That's annoying, I just lost all my stuff there. I press control and it kind of allows me to look downwards, which is a big kind of monster there. And I want some of that loot, which is... Oh, no, I don't, because it's going to expire. Uh, but I need to be very careful. So, first of all, boom, boom. Now, this one's going to split in two, so I've got to make sure to... There we go. Good hits. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You do nothing is what you do, Mr. Spider. You do nothing. Uh, skill point obtained? Okay, cool. Now, let's continue on. As we go into a new section, and uh, where are we now? Okay, we're the Eastern Path Shadowlands. So that's cool on the bottom right hand corner, it tells us where we are. There's a few kind of like bits of. Oh, that looks ominous down there. Uh, red and glowing. Red and glowing is always good. Right, what's. Like, B allows me to heal. Uh, I, I think that's like a health potion, which uh, means that I'm kind of full. Which is good, 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 good. We're gonna grab that in a second. Woo! Okay, that was a that was a bit of a mistake by me then. I mistimed my jump. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, that's not that's not too great there. Oh, do you know what? I was doing come come back later on when I'm playing a bit better. I was I was playing so well and then I just started playing so badly. Oh dear. Right, let's kind of like get some healing up there. And what's that? Heart's fragment obtained. So that's good. I can imagine it's a fragment of heart. Every time I collect three, I'll get an additional health point. That's good. I need that because I keep making mistakes. So that's if the, if if my job was to illustrate that point. Hey, I'm doing a bang up job. See that? I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing better better there with it. Uh, let's just try and defeat this this guy here. This I want to say soul. Don't get too close. Too close for comfort. Now, um, up here. And up there. Oh, there's an arrow. We love arrows. I assume I, I assume that's pointing in the right direction. I wasn't there wasn't I meant to interact with that. Okay, the question is now, will I fall in? No. That's Wow. This one of many thrones that you will find throughout your your adventure. Yeah. You can use them to restore your health and then serve as a link between different territories in Atenia. 
Uh, finally, when you sit on them, pressing F, you can access the experience menu. Ah, experience menu. That's good then. Here you improve your skills and reset them. Okay, cool. So I can have like a, a master retrieve type thing. So first of all, I need to interact with that. So we press F. Wow, look at it. I look pretty sick there, just sat on the the throne. And I get to interact with that. It's kind of like, oh. And go to the various different types of places. So I've got quests, perks. Okay, cool. So what do I do? I press uh, Z. In order to interact. So I guess I'm there with how I'm kind of like I am at the moment. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And F the center where we are at the moment. And Q for perks. So I can I buy any of these yet? Maybe critical damage and melee damage. Well, critical damage I'd like to do more of. Am I able to good on that tree? So I can select, like a mastery tree. So this is like a mastery tree. And I've got n none left to go elsewhere. Critical striking chance. No, okay. I've used all, I've used all my stuff. Gems. I picked up one gem so far, so I guess that's the one I use. I want to say. Okay, right. And we what exit out of this? And do we go? I think we'll go. We'll go back. Think. And let's go to the next um, one of the many thrones that you'll find throughout the adventure. You can use them to restore your health, and then so I've restored my health. That is pretty sick. Yes, 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 yes. As it said, I can restore my health. Oh, and now it's gone. Oh, cool. Well, I look pretty sick on that throne. Right, press press control, and then look down. Uh, okay, there's a bit of a fall. I don't, which I don't want to do. I can do like a a downward. Then we're gonna smack. If you like Metroid games, you'll like you you will like this. Um There we go, got him. Woo! Oh There's spikes there. There was spikes there. I shall know for next time not to uh, uh, this is why control you know, this is why they, they do give the control button so you can uh look down. It's always in hand it's always handy to look down. Come on, come at me, spider! Jump in the spikes. Are you good? <laughs> that I mean that that was that was funny. That was funny. Come at me, bird. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down them spikes. I learnt my lesson. Um, do I want to go down? Or do I want to go up? Uh, can I get back up? Is it? Yes, I can. Is it? That's the answer to the question, Richard. Up there, I was like a bit of height because then I, at least I can reposition myself if anything goes wrong. Let's go. Right. Again, boom. We need to get to the next part of the story. You cheeky little thing. Take that. Take that. Right, we're in a new area now, and the chronicler is basically like writing my story. So it's kind of like. I don't know what what that kind of is. There's a there's something somebody that writes it in like the Marvel universe. I can't remember off the top of my head which is. Oh, a key! I'll take that. Thank you very much. Key to the Temple of the Kings. Oh, where am I gonna go? Well, this like library, the Chronicles is writing books of stuff that happens. So that's pretty sick. I don't know where we are now. Welcome. Oh, okay. I'm self-taught expert on this, Keeper. You can leave me alone. Then go ahead. Open the first door. Inside you'll find a fragment of power. Okay. Then I will do that, I guess. I mean, he has to be pretty sure of himself. Climbing again. I hate losing my powers. But there's a lot of complaining, this lad. I mean, I don't know if he's dead, so that could be kind of like... You know, the reason he's kind of like that. He kind of is a bit, like, you know, dead and stuff. You go from these different type of wor worlds of kind of, like, things going on. Oh, dear. No! Okay, this is the, this is the thing about timing, which is going to get me, I think. Oh, it's too early. Oh! Okay, that was a bit 
too. Can I land on that one? Yes, I can. I was a bit too um, the first time. I was a bit too eager and early when my jumping. But uh, this is the thing about muscle memory. A lot of the times, you kind of like have to train yourself. This is why, you know, timings everything with this. Uh, okay, I need to watch this now. Yes. I. Oh no 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 no. Ah, that's annoying. It's one of those temporary ones. Damn it. Is that gonna? F the thing is, I'm looking at that like, okay, is that gonna fizzle out? Okay, few. Good. Another checkpoint. This is good. I think this one's gonna annoy me a little bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I was going to make that. Uh, I should have a bit more kind of confidence in myself, but that was kind of like a bit annoying. What the heck? I just went Super Saiyan. I already tired of uh, moving like a simple mortal. Now that I have regained my ability, I'll be able to move faster, reach greater distances, and so much more lethal in combat. Oh, if I jump or dash, I... Just when an enemy hits me, I'll avoid being stunned and will be able to move freely. By pressing shift, I'll be able to use the ability I just just to recover. Contract. Wow, okay. So does that mean I can just like ping myself over there in a moment? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Um is it a case that I go so I just I press shift? Ah! Okay. Um. Well, what what the heck was that? So I can go there. Okay, there we go. It's not a case I could just jump straight up and then press shift. Luckily, because I had one bit of health to go. Okay, maybe I don't then. I completed the get. Okay, right, good. Right, let's let's go continue on now. Now I have all these powers. I'm going to be going up here because I just want to check that I'm exploring enough because there's going to be like lots of stuff that I might miss out on, he says. Like those gems. I want to say like I want to make sure that I've grabbed all the gems. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Ah, bird. Bird gone. Oh dear. Up, 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 up. Ugh. Eh. Ugh. Get away from me, spider. Got a health potion, good. Boom, boom. Yes! See, if I didn't go up there, I wouldn't have got the heart fragment, would I? And I wouldn't be able to, like, level up anything with, uh, with that. So, this is why it pays to explore. Now, let's have a chat with Matey Boy. Is he going to attack me? Best by Chaos, for instance. I thought my glasses were fooling me. Okay. The King of Darkness himself. I am I'm the King of Darkness. I'd love to be congratulated. Yes, who are you, old man? Lord Drake the Sixth at your service. Archaeologist, historian. Excellent. Don't know me, uh, yes. What have we got here? I have so many questions for you. Not on your life. I am not talking encyclopedia. Sorry, Your Highness. I have been carried away. Is it true that gems of power can be embedded in your armour? Yes. Oh. Yeah, wonderful. Almost, I can carry three common and one high-powered. I also like to reserve two clefts for gems of darkness. Oh. I'm sorry, that's that's kind of like important information. Maps of all territories that have been explored beside valuable information about... Uh, yeah. I even hold alchemy instruments. Oh, good. Yes. Would you have thought I would have collected from the royal... Are you going to charge me for this? Excuse me, the misunderstanding. Your Highness, archaeology is a very expensive profession. Yes, it is. People need a lot of money in order to kind of like, uh, you know, do it for a living. But, you know, they make no money from it, so that's... That's the big sad with archaeology. I used to love archaeology. I've got um, a qualification in archaeology. So what do I want? What have I got? I can only afford... Well, I can't find any of that. <laughs> Buy. What do I want? What do, what what can I actually buy? Is the question. Red marker, green marker, blue marker. Um, region region map. Dimensional recharge. 
Uh, probably a region map is just going to be helpful for me, so I'll go with that. Uh, dogmas. Huh. Oh, dogmas. It's not dogmas, but, you know, imagine if it was. Um, yeah, okay, that, well, I'm done. Yep, yep. I'm done, mate. You know, maybe I'll come back to you. Like, I've got I've got no dogmas. I'm going to call them dogmas. They're, 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 it's dogmas, but I, I'm going to call them dogmas. Because, you know, uh, what's down here? Maybe I should kind of like... Uh, I've got to check a regional map. Like, uh, I should... Oh, uh, I don't... Pardon me, don't, uh, Ominous hold to drop down? Go on, then. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's go. Okay, next perk I'm going to do is uh, is improve my kind of like damage with my melee items. So that's something that should be beneficial. So I'll do more damage. And uh, that's me done. I don't know if I want to... Do I want to teleport anywhere? I don't know if I can get back up again. I think is a, is a, good, is a good question right here. So, so I'm looking at it. Like, it was kind of a steep drop. So I'm like, eh, shouldn't I be... Shouldn't I like teleport in some way? Uh, like fast travel somewhere? Like go back there and kind of go uh, repeat my route and... Or can I climb back? I don't think I can. I really don't think I can climb back up again. It didn't seem like it. Um, maybe I should go... No, that's right at the beginning. I should really go there then. And retrace my route and do that. Well, I've done it again. I found another secret tunnel. I guess this is all. This is very much about like exploration in, uh, and I think I can do this with shift. Boop. Yep, there we go. That I tell that's gonna annoy me. That is gonna annoy me because I have to wait for them to go blue. Like, no. Oh no. Okay, I get to live still. That's good. This is going to be very much a case of, like, timing is everything with this. But what the heck is that? Well, that's going to be a problem. Whatever that is. So I will have to kind of, like, go there. No. 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 Okay, this time I've got to do this. Like, this is... Coming a little bit annoying. How? I was right on it. How? How? There we go. Did it. I was right on it. No. Oh, no. What the heck is that? Okay, that's new. That's weird. That's funky. That's a boss. Okay, got it. No, it's not a boss. What the heck was that? That's kind of scary. Uh, do I have any health potions? I do. I have like one health potion. Um, okay, I'm here. Whoa, 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 and whoa. It, it, oh. No, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I need to jump over that and get right to the middle then. I think I need to go and go there, there, down there. Whoop! Up! Oh my god! Whoop! Ah! Oh. Whew! Okay, that was stressful. Am I in? All right, so that area is done. You can definitely see, like, where that little kind of like spy, sp bat spider thing is. It's uh, where I died last, and getting out of it was kind of annoying because I, I kept, every time I did the jump, it was like it didn't show you where the ledge was, so you ended up kind of like hitting the roof each time, and you're like, "No, I didn't hit the roof. I didn't hit the roof," but apparently you did. Um, no, I think I'm good. I thought I was meant to do something with that. In any case. Any case, let's continue on with a fight, with the things, and a f take that, take that. Right. There, there's an. Oh, that's that's the merchant chest. Ah, uh, that's what the key was for. Nice. Let's see what the what the what the loot is. Nice. Uh, any potions? It's a health potion. Good. Defeat them. Eh, eh, eh. Take that. Take that. Ta-da! Got him. Nice. Let's get to the next throne. <gasps> What's this? 
The wasteland is not the end. Those who prove themselves worthy will be blessed with a second chance. But few have overcome the horrors behind these walls and come back to life. Okay. Point taken. I will try and be good, I want to say. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, parrot thing. Okay, here we go. I gotta get this. Yes! Land it landed it perfectly. Apart from all the stuff that now is just like gone astray. Uh, but I am happy because I had a bit of a stress getting up to the top. Uh, but yes, finally climbed that uh, bit right there. And uh, we go into a new sector and lots of stuff. We're in the east wall. And wow, okay. Um, this is going to be... No, okay. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll end the video. There. Look at those eyes in the bottom right there. There's, there's loads of kind of like eyes like watching you as soon as you go across that's very kind of ooh spooky uh but yeah that has been it that has been the game that has been eternia uh noctis uh i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but uh um it sounds a bit like either latin or italian one of the two uh, but yeah go and check out the, the game it's in the description down below go and um Check it out and, and, and pick it up. It's a, it's a lot of fun. A lot of effort's gone into the story, the visuals, and the fact that this is hand-drawn is absolutely amazing. Uh, I enjoyed this, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye, everybody.